Jennifer Lawrence has continued to struggle to really establish herself outside of the Hunger Games franchise. I think she would do well just doing rom-coms. Hey everyone, my name is Max Aaron James. This review of the movie No Hard Feelings, written by Gene Stupnitsky and John Phillips, directed by Gene Stupnitsky. We have Jennifer Lawrence, Andrew Barth Feldman, Matthew Broderick, and Laura Benanti. It is a woman trying to seduce the son of some helicopter parents before, hopefully before he gets to college so that he can come out of his shell. And the woman is doing this strictly to get a car so she can continue being a rideshare driver to avoid losing her mother's home. As time goes on, there ends up, you know, they start to see a spark between Lawrence and Feldman's character. And, you know, it's kind of things that are relatively predictable and it's more of knowing what will happen and just wanting to see the journey and how is this going to be approached. Because Sometimes it is approached differently than other films. Sometimes the, the ending is unexpected, slightly. Now, although Lawrence's character is supposed to pretend to like Feldman in the beginning in order to seduce him for the sake of getting this car to continue being a rideshare driver, the chemistry actually between Lawrence and Feldman, I was not sure if it was there or not because of how the characters are supposed to act. Because even when their characters start to get into each other and start really liking each other, including Lawrence's character being into Feldman's, it, it was still hard to really tell if there was anything there, right? It, it was just hard. I don't know if they were just doing poorly at bringing that through the screen. This movie was good to watch. I enjoyed myself. I laughed quite a bit in the beginning. Then there were some hard hitting jokes and I laughed pretty hard in the middle. And of course, it hits to it hits that point where the characters face a challenge to overcome, and that moment of overcoming this issue that can potentially tear them apart, as expected with many comedies or rom coms. And the issue, I think, for me was that it after it slowed down, it maintained that moving forward to the very end. So, although I saw this coming, I wanted to still have more jokes and I and some of the jokes after that moment fell flat or were not hitting as hard maybe because they were trying to make sure they were able to get you emotionally I mean Jennifer Lawrence she gave what she could Andrew Barth Feldman I I did not really care for him his character had some moments but oh I, the performance didn't hit I, I think the funniest people were side characters such as Matthew Broderick I think he was entertaining as well as Laura Benanti both who played Feldman's character's parents the helicopter parents I think some of the funniest moments were with them as well as uh, Lawrence's uh, friends the character that played their friends the couple what else is there to say about this movie I knew this review was going to be short but yeah, there's not much else about this movie. If you're into rom-coms or just comedies, you may enjoy this. I think it's an entertaining watch. I do not know if it is worth spending, you know, ticket price to go see it in theaters, but I enjoyed it for the moment. There is a scene where Jennifer Lawrence goes to this college party or a house party where there are soon to be fre college freshmen there and they're mostly celebrating, you know, they're going to Princeton. And I think Jennifer Lawrence can still pass as someone in their mid 20s. Uh, maybe 23 at the youngest, maybe. Uh, but it, it made me think of it is not so much how you look because, again, a lot of people can pass for college age. But it is more how you present yourself. And as you get older, you, don't, you no longer present yourself as a teenager or as teenagers present themselves, even though many like to believe they're very mature for their age. It is very much how you present yourself and how you walk into a room. And I know how I walk into a room when I am around people in their early 20s, teenage years, I know I stand out. Just, I people, I feel people can tell that I am older. Anyway, if you got a chance to see this, let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, y'all take care of each other. Check up on one another. Be sure to check up on yourself. And remember, potential has no limit.